Hello and welcome to the latest episode of the Xbox Simulation Gaming series. This episode will be a little bit different. It's not going to be about one game only. It will be comparing four games. Now, I've wanted to create a video comparing all simulation games on available on Xbox uh, for some time. The thing is that I'm an amateur. This channel is just a side thing for me. It's, uh, I do have a job, so I don't have a whole lot of time to play games in the first place. Which is why I have not played Farming Simulator and Construction Simulator so far. I just didn't have the time. Um, why I don't have the time? I couldn't spare some time from playing other games to play those games, you would say. Well, um, Farming Simulator is more about... Uh, driving, operating, farming equipment, because search simulator is about heavy equipment. I'm really interested in driving like buses and trucks. Now, in those games, there is quite a bit of driving, uh, truck driving, but uh, I just wasn't that interested in the rest of it. So this is why I stuck with truck driver, uh, on the road truck simulator and the bus simulator. So this video is only about, again, on the road truck simulator, truck driver, Bus Simulator 21 and Bus Driver Simulator 19, that one right there. Uh, there are several other games that are not <laughs> included in this video. One, this here is Xbox One, so um, Flight Simulator cannot play on this thing. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get a next gen, so we'll see about that. So this is one reason why Flight Simulator is not featured here. Uh, there's another game that I really play and I really like and I... Uh, wanted to include it in this video, it just didn't kind of work out um, with the categories. Uh, it didn't really fit in with the rest of the game, so that is Train Simulator. Um, it just it just very different from the rest, so uh, I kind of didn't include it uh, in, in this video. And it is going to become very clear why I didn't include it. Uh, right away with the first category here but this is how we're going to do this like we're gonna ra rank these four games uh into different categories um and for each category the winner will get four points second place gets two third place gets uh, one point and zero points for the dead last uh and then we're gonna have an overall ranking of all games and the first category is steering wheel support. I think this is absolutely vital for um, any driving simulator. If they want to call themselves a simulator, they absolutely need to support this. Um, this is the only way to make the driving experience really realistic. Uh, now, when it comes to uh, train simulator, obviously you don't use any of that. And unfortunately the trains have different operation methods and there is no one controller that can account for oh like uh, for example american trains are very different from european ones and even like different models are different from each other so uh, this is why train simulator wasn't included here and we're starting here with the last place team in the first category steering wheel support that is bus driver simulator <laughs> there's nothing here and they don't have uh steering wheel support on any console like not not on playstation nothing like i believe you can get that on a personal computer on pc but not not on on consoles so if you want to play this game on a console on xbox you need to use this and on third place in this category with one point is on the road truck simulator. And here we have the exact same thing. This thing does not work. Uh, the game does not support uh, steering wheels on Xbox at this point. Uh, they were supposed to support those, but uh, <laughs> it's been an ongoing issue. They're saying it's going to have it, but it does not. And again, like with this category, we have like pretty much yes and no. It's uh, either they have it or not. So uh, it's bound to, uh, 
that have ties and obviously bus driver simulator 19 and uh, on the road truck simulator are um, kind of tied here because they don't have the, the steering wheel support. Uh, the tiebreaker that I've used, and I'll, I'll be trying to use tiebreakers throughout this video um, uh, whenever I can, whenever I can come up with something. So the tiebreaker here, why I gave the point to Underworld Truck Simulator, it is because they actually do have steering wheel support on um, PlayStation. Uh, they are also saying that they're working on uh, um, Xbox, that the game was released uh, in February last year. It is now December. Uh, it's been almost a year. We still don't have it on Xbox. Um, but at least they're saying that eventually it will be there. So this is why they get the point. On the other hand, Bus Driver Simulator 19 uh, said that they don't have plans at this point. I did ask them on Facebook and they don't have plans at this point to add steering wheel support for consoles. And on second place in this category, we finally have a game that actually supports steering wheel on Xbox and that's Truck Driver. And it actually works pretty well here. It is uh, the wheel in the game actually spins pretty much the exact same way, way as this wheel here. And this is a 900 degree a wheel. So it works awesomely. Now, um, however, everything in this game is predetermined. So all the buttons are the way they are preset and you cannot change this, at least at this point. I when I look at the menu, I feel like they are planning to change that in the future, but at this point, everything is predetermined, uh, and it is, it is what it is, you cannot change it. And the winner in this category is Bus Simulator 21. And again, there's a tie here with the truck driver, both games do support steering wheels. Uh, the reason why I'm giving it to Bus Simulator 21 is because of the customization. It lets you pick different buttons, what you want them to do here. And as you can see, I picked uh, the power shifters for peak left and right or lean left and right as uh, they're saying it here. Um, you can do that with third driver. And I've also uh, picked up different buttons for opening doors, for the ramp, whatever I decided that I'm going to need to use more often, I've picked a button to use on the steering wheel rather than trying to operate menus within the game. Moving on to the next category here, and that is mirrors. I think that in order to have realistic driving experience, you absolutely need to be able to see both mirrors at the same time on your screen. This is why I think um, on-screen mirrors is a great option. In real life, you can always see both mirrors at the same time. Human vision to the left and to the right is only limited at the level of your eyes. Now, of course, you can only focus on what's uh, straight ahead. You'll have to look at each mirror to make out objects in the mirror, but you can actually see the mirror that it is there, even if you're not looking at it. And this is the same here. It doesn't matter how smooth the screen is that you're watching this video on right now, you cannot look at both mirrors at the same time. If you want to make out objects in the mirror, you will have to look at either the right one or the left one, which is what makes it really, really realistic. And here is an example pretty close to what you can see in real life. And uh, again, it doesn't matter how small the screen that you're watching this video on, you cannot look at both mirrors at the same time not to make out objects in them. Uh, of course, this would be great if you're playing this on a really big screen. This will work just awesomely. And the most important thing here, of course, is to have the mirrors to be able to look at them. Uh, this is the only way you can have a realistic driving experience. Without the mirrors, it, it is not realistic. And again, at the very bottom, at zero points, is Bus Driver Simulator 19. This game does not have the option to put on screen mirrors. And the best you can do is like this here. You kind of see portions of both mirrors. 
uh, but still you can see full uh, mirrors on either side. And not only that, images in the mirrors constantly freeze. They are never uh, moving properly <laughs> there. You can see stationary images from time to time and they just stick around. You just never have accurate information of what's going on next to you. So uh, you, we just pass those people and you can see how the images of the cars it simply freeze in the mirror. So no on-screen mirrors and even the ones on the bus are hardly working. So this is why this game gets zero points in this category. And on third place is again on the road truck simulator. Again, they're getting one point. And this is because you can actually set up uh, to see the two mirrors. This game also does not have on screen mirrors. But again, I've used the tiebreaker here. The fact that you can uh, set up your seat in a way that you can see both mirrors. Now, this is going to actually be included in another category here so i'm gonna stop talking about this i'm just gonna mention that the mirrors on this game at the very beginning didn't work at all and even to this day the game has a button which says show mirrors and he has yes and no setting and also it has a warning reading please note that activating the mirrors has a great influence on the performance activation is at your own risk so at least they have come some way up at the very beginning. They were definitely worse than Bus Driver Simulator. At least they have mirrors right now. And again, we have no surprises here. Second place is again for Truck Driver uh, with two points. And that is because it does have the on-screen mirrors available. You can pick and choose if you want only the right one or the left one. Or both, of course, and you still can see the actual mirrors on the truck. And of course, you can also turn them off if you wish the on screen mirrors, that is. And the winner in this category is again Bus Simulator 21. It, very much like Truck Driver, can have on-screen mirrors. You can turn them on and off. I decided you can to sell my vacuum left cleaner. One or it was just right gathering one, dust. Uh, whichever one you wish. Now, um, of course, they're tied here with Truck Driver. What I've used as a tiebreaker is this additional mirror that just popped up. It just shows up at bus stops, and it really helps to see passengers waiting at the bus stop um i wouldn't call it uh very realistic i mean yes uh, buses would have additional mirrors but um it really helps it really helps that you can see the passengers and uh you don't have to actually click uh the outside view to see everyone getting on the bus so this is why Bus Simulator 21 is the winner of this category. And here are the overall standings after two categories. First place for Bus Simulator 21 with 8 points, Truck Driver second with 4. On the road Truck Simulators got 2 points on third place. And that last is Bus Driver Simulator 19 with 0 points so far. Moving on to our third category here and that is Peak left and right or lean left and right if you wish i think this is absolutely vital for realistic driving experience when you're at the intersection you should be able to look around for uh, any oncoming traffic and i know that some people disagree with that uh, as well as having on screen mirrors but this should just be a feature that you can use if you wish and I think that without those features, the driving experience is not realistic at all. And I do understand that some people like to drive uh, from the outside view. Uh, they find it easier to look around uh, and they enjoy playing the game like that. This is absolutely fine. Now, uh, if you choose to play it like this, good for you. However, this is not 
realistic like for those of us who are looking for a realistic driving experience this is not how you would be able to see the truck you're driving if you're actually driving a real truck unless of course you're this guy but i highly doubt he's allowed to drive from the bucket on the highway so for me looking at your truck like this is more like the way you would look at a toy truck so this is more of a toy truck simulator rather than actual truck driver simulator and a truck driver simulator would absolutely need on-screen mirrors and peak left and right and dead last fourth with zero points in this category is again bus driver simulator 19. they're actually the only game out of these four that does not have peak left and right feature at all and yes all the other three games do have this feature so they're all tied and we are going to have to use tiebreakers for that so third place again with only one point is for on the road truck simulator the reason is they did not have this feature at the very beginning did not have it for a long time people complained it was added as you can see it's not really simulating turning your head it's simply a different camera view like you switch over and it's kind of like weird yes it is better than nothing and I'm really glad that they added this feature, but it works very weirdly. <laughs> so this is why they are left on third spot here. You're about to see how it works in the other games and why they have more points in this category. And again, we have no surprise on second place. <laughs> it is, again, truck driver with two points the reason is because as you can see here it simulates turning your head uh, it's not like a different camera it actually turns your head now uh, why i've left it on second place is because the peak left and right is on the d-pad and the d-pad left and right is also used for turning signals so once on the left is turning signal if you want to peak left you actually have to press once release press second time and hold so it is difficult it doesn't always work very well and um on top of that the d-pad down on the d-pad is on and off for the engine so quite oftenly when i try to peak left and right i will turn off the engine so uh, it, it's not a very good spot to use the pick left and right, and this is why I'm leaving them on second place. And first place is again for Bus Simulator 21. Peak left and right is absolutely seamless here, and the main reason for that is because it can peak Drone swarm, the say. buttons that you want to use. I'll check it out, and sounds interesting. Again, I know I've used this before as a tiebreaker, but I'm using it again. Um, in, in this case, I'm using the puddle shifters. I already mentioned that earlier in the video and it is absolutely seamless. Now you won't use the puddle shifters for anything else in this game because all the buses are automatic. And it is very easy to hold on to the puddle shifter and turn the steering wheel at the same time. It is not so easy with the uh, D-pad, the way it is used in truck driver. So this is why I'm giving first place to Bus Simulator. It is so easy to pick left and right. And here are the overall standings at the moment. First is Bus Simulator 21 with 12 points. Second is Truck Driver with 6. Third is On the Road Truck Simulator with 3. And fourth is for Bus Driver Simulator 19 with 0 points. Moving on to the fourth category here, and that is again one that is vital uh, for any driving simulator, and that is the AI. The AI 
absolutely has to behave realistically to give you a realistic driving experience. And this might come as a surprise here, but bottom of the pack with zero points is Bus Simulator 21. Now, this is the newest game out of this four, so it hasn't really had the time to iron out all the problems. Nonetheless, it, it is one that has the worst AI at the moment. You can see here how the traffic starts popping up like popcorn uh, as you accelerate down the freeway. And another thing that is really annoying specifically about the freeway here is how slow they're driving. The speed limit here is 70 miles an hour, that is 113 kilometers an hour. And all those cars at best are doing 50 miles an hour, that's 80 kilometers an hour. It is the same thing with the European freeway, the speed limit there is 100 kilometers an hour, still everyone is doing 80. No, I've also noticed them doing 80 on roads in the city, um, which are normally 50 kilometers an hour speed limit, so I'm not sure why they're just driving with the same speed anywhere. You can see here they're pretty slow, and this is annoying. I would hope that I can follow traffic here doing close to the speed limit at least. Vehicles turning left do not yield to oncoming traffic or turn left from the wrong lane like this guy here. Pedestrians are not any better, they just run in front of the bus sometimes. Oh, and there are also buses that suddenly pop up at the bus stop as you're approaching the bus stop. And there are a lot of things that suddenly pop up in this game, uh, including pedestrians right in the middle of the road. I even had a case in one recording where I could not see a pedestrian. I am pretty sure it popped up in the middle of the bus as I was driving. Another big problem is the fact that they stop on green. Like, almost every car stops on green. Uh, it's almost like they're hoping that you're gonna rear end them. And this guy here blocks the way and now, now suddenly you have cars passing us on the left. This is just ridiculous. And this guy is staying here and this is why this game is bottom of the pack here. I certainly hope that soon uh, a lot of the problems will be fixed. And on third place in this category is Buzz Driver Simulator 19 winning their first point. And the reason is um, their AI is less annoying. They do have pedestrians, they don't run in front of you, it's actually pretty hard to hit them. You do get points deducted if you hit them, but you kind of have to chase them to hit them. It is the same with the rest of the traffic. If you are going to crash, you actually have to try to crash. It's not that easy. Uh, the rest of the traffic uh, tries to stay away from you. Now, the traffic moves a little bit weirdly, but it's still okay, and they are moving usually with the speed limit. There are streets with 70 kilometers an hour speed limits here in the game. There are no freeways, though. Second place in this category is for On The Road Truck Simulator with two points. Wasn't that long ago when all AI in the game was trying to murder you. Those days are now over and the AI gives you enough space to maneuver around, take turns, they would wait for you. So this is nice. And the traffic now moves fairly realistically. Uh, the only problem I find is on the Autobahn. So this is a game based in Germany. Uh, realistically, the trucks are uh, limited to 90 kilometers an hour, which is what's uh, happening in uh, Germany. Uh, trucks must be limited to 90 kilometers an hour. However, there are no speed limits for cars, and cars would usually be driving very fast on the Autobahn. You don't see anybody driving more than 100 kilometers an hour on this Autobahn, and quite often, I do pass cars with the truck, which is very unrealistic 
as a truck driver on the autobahn in germany you would pretty much never pass a car you might pass some other trucks but that's it uh, you won't even pass any buses uh, buses do have 100 kilometers an hour speed limit so they have a higher speed limit usually they would be passing you um, cars would normally move at uh, 140 150 kilometers an hour so you would never be passing them either and the speed limit for trucks in the game is 80 kilometers an hour which again is also realistic this is what the speed limit is on the autobahn for trucks and the winner in this category is truck driver they get the four points and they have come a long way uh, the traffic specifically on the freeway moves very realistically you have people doing 140 the speed limit in the game is 120 so you have people speeding uh, generally speaking most of the passing happens on the left but sometimes there are cars passing on the right they change lanes all the time they sometimes cut you off well, usually when they do that they're going a little bit faster than you so it's not really a problem it's just so realistic like i when i'm here driving in the game i feel like i'm driving on a real freeway and this footage is a little bit older this is from the time when trucks were actually limited to 120 kilometers an hour but i just wanted to use this footage just to show how uh, traffic moves on the freeway uh, because nowadays trucks are limited 90 kilometers an hour and almost everybody's passing you you almost never get to pass any cars and to see how freely traffic actually moves on the freeway and speed of vehicles is actually one of the categories that we'll look uh, into later on and um, this is when we will talk about a little more in detail about the speed now in terms of uh, driving through cities or uh, undivided highways or single carriage roads between um, cities the game originally had 30 kilometers an hour speed limit in cities and vehicles were moving very slow like 15 20 kilometers an hour it was really annoying and the speed limit on single carriage roads or undivided highways was 50 kilometers an hour which again was very annoying a lot of the cars were doing 35 that is now fixed now uh the speed limit is 80 kilometers an hour on undivided highways 50 in the city and um driving is again a lot more realistic uh you rarely see cars driving too slow actually this here is the slowest car i've seen uh, moving on a road like that and it was doing 55 kilometers an hour in most cases they're doing 70 80 uh, some of them are even going faster than 80 kilometers an hour you are very rarely going to pass any cars you simply can't uh, and uh, the highways in this game are a little curvy so it's it's another reason why it, it is hard to pass and just as bus simulator 21 was getting ahead in the overall standings just in one category truck driver managed to catch up bus simulator 21 remains at 12 points truck driver is second with 10 on road truck simulator is third with five and one point for bus driver simulator 19. i really hope that this video helps you decide if you want to buy any of those games uh, and i also do understand that uh, different people will have uh, different uh, views as to what they want in the game and this is why i've created different categories and you can create your own overall rankings you don't have to look at mine please let me know in comments what your overall rankings are the categories i've covered so far i think are the most important for any uh driving simulator um however there are six more that i want to cover uh such as like uh, vehicle fleet map size speed of vehicles customization weather etc however this video is already getting way too long 
So I'm going to break it into two parts. Next part will come up next week. And I'm really hoping that I'll manage to squeeze in all uh, six remaining categories into that video. A like and subscribe would be very much appreciated. And don't forget the notification button that will notify you every time we upload awesome videos like this one. So this is it for now. Stay tuned for part two. And thank you very much for spending the time watching this video today. Goodbye.